Good morning, everyone. I'm Jessica, and I'm here today to share with you how to make block 15 of the 2023 Scrappy Sampler. Let's get sewing. I have all my pieces cut for block 15, and today we're making an eight and a half inch unfinished block. We've been making bigger ones, so this one's probably gonna seem a little bit smaller, and it is, uh, but that is exactly what we need to do. So I have my large triangles here, and what we need to do with these is make four half square triangles. I'm matching one colored triangle and one background triangle, one on top of the other. I'm lining up the points, the corners, all the sides, and then I'm gonna sew the length of this. These half square triangles are made to size, so after you sew it, you can press it or finger press it open and just trim these overhangs and then this is ready to use in your block. Looks like that. And we need to make four total for this block, so I'm gonna go ahead and make three more. I went ahead and I made all four half square triangles. They're all identical, same size, same color scheme, and we're going to make the next portion of the block. So for this block, we have a center that is the same color as our half square triangles. And then we have some smaller pieces that go in between. So I have my yellow is my other color. And then I have some more background pieces cut out. And what we're doing is we're laying the background piece on top of the yellow portion. And we're sewing these together to make these kind of like elongated two patches. This one is a little bit bigger than this one. You're matching up the side that is the same. So this is the two inch side that I matched up. And I'll repeat that. So here you can see this one's a little bit bigger than this piece, but I'm matching up the two sides. So if I tried to turn it the wrong way, you would see these don't match up. So you know you don't have it in the right position. So I'm matching up the two sides that go together, which are the two inch sides. And I'm gonna sew this together. And I'm going to repeat that till we have four of these. And then we have all the units ready to assemble our block. So I'm making sure that I'm looking at the pattern because these uh, red portions of the half square triangle make a sort of pinwheel in the background. And I'm making sure I have that laying correctly. And I'm going to lay one of these elongated two patch units on top of that and then for the next portion it's going to be this unit again and I'm pairing that with this center which is the color that matches the half square triangle color and then for the bottom one our triangle goes like this and then we have another two patch unit and we sew those together And then we're going to open this up and add the remaining columns. So the correct position for this one is this way. And I just start at the top, make sure they're lined up, and then sew the length. The next thing we do here is match the remaining elongated two patch onto the red square and sew those together. And then we'll do the last half square triangle, which the orientation for that one is this way. Again, just refer to the pattern as you're making this so your half square triangles are placed in the correct manner. And now we have our block sewn together with just our two remaining seams. This is what it looks like so far. And we're just gonna sew these two seams together. So you can decide which way you wanna push these seams when you are making this block. I am going to push them in toward, like away from the half square triangle. And I'm gonna sew this together. I'm just making sure I have a little bit sticking out. There we go. Just making sure that that's lining up correctly. And I'm gonna repeat the process of making sure the seams are going the correct way on the bottom uh, half of the block. So there we go. And now we have one more seam to sew together, which is this remaining one. So I'm trying to put, again, the seams in the proper direction the same way that I put them on the first side so that they, they are laying flat. 
So I'm making sure that they're in the same direction. And now I'm gonna repeat that process for the bottom here. Sewing that together. And once this is laid nicely, I can finish sewing across. And that's it. This is a really quick, fun block. Look how beautiful it is. It has this nice pinwheel effect in the background. This color is the same, which kind of gives it like a little bit of a diagonal chain looking. And then we have this other accent color there. We just need to press it. Okay, I have the block laid here. And as I do in blocks of this manner, I am going to press work on the back and press one like portion of it at a time i'm working on the edges so right now i'm pushing this seam and then uh to get this seam i'm actually just going to turn the block and come at it from this angle to help it lay nicely and push to the center and i'm just gonna let my iron sit there and press that again make sure you know your iron that you're working with and how long you can leave it in place without burning or scorching your fabric on the heat setting that you have it on so i have that side pressed and now i'm going to repeat the process on this other half now if i wanted to i could push it down like this and just come across but i like kind of coming at it from this other angle it it feels natural so i would just recommend you do whatever feels the most natural to you And then after I have that pressed, I'm going to fold the block closed and we're gonna press this long seam here. In the process of pressing this long seam, I'm also pressing the portion under it in the middle. So I always just make sure that everything is laying nicely before I do this. And then now I'm going to gently open this up here and set my iron on that seam from the front. And we're gonna repeat that process on this last seam here. So I'm just setting it with my iron on the back side, and once I feel like it's ready, I just open it up and press it from the front side. And I make sure everything is laying how I'd like it to be, everything looks good, and I press until I'm satisfied with how it looks. And once I'm satisfied with how it looks, then we call it done. And here you have block 15, a little bit smaller than the blocks we've been making, but really fun, quick, and beautiful block. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will be sure to answer them. Thanks for following along and I'll be back with block 16 soon.